Hello, hello. How is everyone doing today? I am excited to hop into some Breath of the Wild here in just a moment. It, um, I, I've seen a little bit of Breath of the Wild, but I, even all these years later, I am still mostly spoiler free. <laughs> um, it's basically like opening cutscene and like a speed run is what I've seen. So, um, let's stop the Ocarina of Time music. And then I started to launch into the game, but it like, it was immediately dropping me into a cutscene, so I exited out. So let's go ahead and give that cutscene a watch. The Nintendo Switch. It's amazing that, like, the whole reason that the Switch was, like, fine at launch was because this game existed. Like, there was, like, there wasn't a lot at launch. <laughs> for the switch I think it was the form factor and this game were the like the two big selling points Breath of the Wild hmm what Very bright. <laughs> Open your eyes. But why? I like sleeping here. It's comfy in this Open uh in this water bed here. Wake up, Link. No, you're draining the water from the waterbed. But also that stone pillow does not look comfortable. I like the glowy, like the glowing here. It's very aesthetic. And here we go. Camera controls. Wow. The camera turns really slowly. <laughs> Hello, Sheikah tablet. That is a Sheikah slate. Slate, sorry. Take it. <laughs> Take it. Help guide you after your long slumber. I like that. It's just here's the Nintendo Switch or the Wii U gamepad. Just. Yep, there we go. There's the screen. <laughs> um, you've never seen this dev device before, and yet there's something familiar about it. Wow, I wonder why. What? I'm expecting something to be there. <laughs> Pick up. Um, okay. Oh, that's R, not ZR. Yeah. 
well-worn trousers. Wait, what, what did that say? These old trousers are threadbare in spots, but they are surprisingly comfortable. The legs are a bit too short, though. Thin shirt made long ago. It's coming apart at the seams, but it's better than nothing. The sleeves are a bit on the short side. Ooh. There's physics on this stuff already. Can that box crush me technically? Whoa, X is jump? Why is, it? oh, oh my, like, I was pressing B, I was pressing A, like nothing was happening. X is jump. Um, oh, I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> Options. Mm. Uh, fast. There we go. That'll be better. Um, change jump button. Um, okay. Jumping B. Okay. Yep. That. Okay, that's so much better. Why? Why would it be like that? Wait, there's a sound indicator? Like, right, right over here, there's a sound indicator. So weird. Hold the Sheikah slate up to the pedestal. That will show you the way. Yeah, yeah, it's an NFC touch point. I get it. Authenticating. Sheikah Slate confirmed. Must shine upon high rule once again. Now go. Now go. Uh, oh, but then that sprint. Oh, that sucks. Okay. Like, okay. Sprint and jump being like X and B, or, or it's not like. That sucks. <laughs> like, they, they perfected it with Mario. You have run next to jump. It's great. And then you have these other two buttons that you can reach over to. But no, no. You're running. Okay. So. I'm assuming sprint is going to be used more often than jump. Yeah. Breath of the Wild. There's a guy over there. <laughs> Hello, dude. Uh, 
uh, pretty common, but surprisingly well balanced. It doesn't do much damage, but can serve as a weapon in a pinch. Got a weapon. Okay, and that's the attack button. Okay. Alien Shroom. Uh, found near trees. Can I? Hmm. Wait, what? What did that tutorial say? I, I, I skipped past it by accident. Oh, it's just the D-pad. Okay. Oh, wait, what? That's weird. Okay, the left button doesn't work, but the right button does? Hmm. Okay. Oop, mushroom. Tree branch. Mushroom, mushroom. I'll get used to the controls eventually, but it just feels like a very weird control scheme right now. Apples? Common fruit found on trees all around Hyrule. Eat it fresh or cook it to increase its effect. Oh, there's another tree over there. Or not tree. There's another apple up over here. Nope. Nope. Don't, don't climb down. Hello, dude. Here, I'm going to talk with you before I take it. Link. Yeah? Head for the point marked on the map in your Sheikah Slate. Okay. Select. From out of nowhere, you hear a woman's voice speak to you. She instructs you to head to the marker displayed on the Sheikah Slate. The slate is both alien and somehow familiar to you. You find that you can access it, uh, its map by pressing the minus button. Okay. Hello, dude. Oh, ho, ho. Well met, stranger. It's rather unusual to see another soul in these parts. Who are you? Me? I'll spare you my life story. I'm just an old fool who has lived here alone for quite some time now. What brings a bright-eyed young man like you to a place like this? Where are we? Answering a question with a question. That is fair enough. As I cannot imagine our meeting to be a simple coincidence, I shall tell you. This is the Great Plateau. According to legend, this is the birthplace of the entire kingdom of Hyrule. That temple there, long ago, it was the site of many sacred ceremonies. Ever since the decline of the kingdom a hundred years ago, it has sat abandoned in a state of decay. That looks like the Temple of Time, does it not? Like, I remember in Ocarina of Time going to the temple and that's where, like, Link got the sword and was able to travel through time and stuff like that. Um... State of Decay. 
Yet another forgotten entity, a mere ghost of its former self. I shall be here for some time. Please let me know if I may be of service. Okay, old man. Baked apple. Direct heat has softened and sweetened this apple. Eat it to restore three quarters of a heart. I beg your pardon. I do not believe that is... Uh, I do believe that is my baked apple. You can't just go about taking whatever you please. Oh, forgive me. I could not resist pulling your leg. Please help yourself. An apple and... And an open flame make for a succulent treat. How, how, how do I cook? What are you doing? I'm relaxing by the fireside, of course. Although I'll need to cook myself another baked apple at some point. Simple foods such as apples are fine to eat raw, but roasting them on a fire makes them tastier and more nutritious. But how... <laughs> Um, select, hold, return to game, like that. Uh, take that one. Okay. Um, hold something like this. The, the, Uh, bye. Please take it? Okay. There has to be a better way to cook. <laughs> okay, so... I can't hold it out to you. Hmm. A torch. This torch will stay lit once ignited, but if you put it away, the flame will be extinguished until you light it again. Um, as a weapon to set things on fire, it's a secret. That is rather unnerving. Please be cautious with that around any dry grass that might catch fire. You know, there are plenty of monsters in this area. That torch would make a good weapon if need be. However, do not swing it around without purpose. You must face your opponents and lock your sight on them. Lock on. Okay. Ooh, that's a big axe. Can I? I can do that. Woodcutter's Axe, a woodcutter's tool of choice for felling trees. Its formidable weight and uneven balancing make it a slow, inefficient weapon. Aim, and then release to throw weapon. Interesting. Hmm. I see some more apples. Um... Please, game. Yeah. 
No. Getting that last apple is a little bit rough. No. <laughs> uh. Please. Can I just... I can't jump and get it. Please, the final apple. I just want it. Ah. How long am I going to spend just getting this apple? Please, game. <laughs> I just want another morsel of food, please. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. One final try. This is my last try, then I'm moving on. Okay. I said final try, so I'm going to lip. I'm sorry. Pick up? Okay. There's a sword over here. Oh! You found me! Huh? You're not Hesu. But you can see me? I didn't know your kind could see the children of the forest. Well, if you're not. Uh, if you run into Hesu, uh, please return this to him. Korok seed. Uh, so there are 999 of those, I believe, in the game. Um, I'm doing what I'm calling a fun percent run. I stole that term from, like, another big streamer. But basically, fun percent is I'm going to try and do as much as I can. But when it becomes unfun to play anymore, I'll be like, yeah, I'm good. I'm done. <laughs> so, like, I plan to do the main story. Um, all of, like, the beasts, I think they're called. Like, try and do as much as possible. I'm trying to get... Uh, I want to try and get a bunch of the Korok seeds, but I'm not going to promise that I get all of the Korok seeds. Maybe if I'm, like, looking at a guide or something, but... Yeah. For the Korok seeds, specifically. Uh, oh, and my friends are hiding in lots of different places, too. Don't be shy about poking your nose into suspicious places. Sword. Rusty Broadsword. Uh, this once fearsome wet, uh, sword has seen better days. Uh, it can do some damage in the right hands, but also breaks quickly. Okay. Good to know. That looks like a bombable spot. I'm assuming we get... Uh, no, I know we get bombs later. Um... And I'm assuming that spot can be broken. Temple of Time. Yep, this is the Temple of Time. Um. Ooh, that. Looks like one of the baddies. Um. Maybe we switch out weapon. Let's try out the rusty broadsword. Uh, a crude bo uh, bokoblin 
club made to clobber small prey. It's essentially a stick, so its durability is low. Okay. Ancient spring, a spring used in ancient machinery. It is light and buoyant enough to float on water, and no matter how many times it's compressed, it never loses tension. Interesting. Hmm. Hello there, you. Badly damaged. Okay, so the, the Boko Club is badly damaged as well then, I think. Whoa, was there a little bit of frame drops there? Trousers. Traditional dress trousers of Hyrule. Uh, the plush fabric makes these trousers quite comfortable and uh, their high durability makes them ideal for travelers. Going to equip those. Oh, what's that? Bacoblin horn. The severed horn of a bacoblin, a creature often encountered on the plains of Hyrule. It isn't edible, but, uh, but it can be tossed into a stew with some critters to make an elixir. Interesting. Okay. I was intending to go to the waypoint, but let's let's go to the Temple of Time first. Hello. Another ancient spring. I think the normal speed is probably good for people who have never played games before because it's like um sort of a motion sickness thing arrow a common arrow its shaft was carved from the wood of a sturdy tree five arrows can't really jump over there yet. Uh, any attack that causes your weapon to break becomes a critical hit, dealing 2x damage. Ooh. That's good to know. So there is actually an advantage to having things break, which is interesting. Oh, give me that. There we go. <laughs> what if suddenly Legend of Zelda just like was like, yeah, we added mimics. <laughs> Traveler's Bow. A small bow used by travelers for protection. It doesn't do a lot of damage, but it can be used to attack foes from a distance. Draw Bow. Release to fire. Okay, this controller does have motion controls. So you, the idea of using the motion controls, you do the big movements with the stick, and then you can do fine movements with the controller. But also, my leg bounces, and yeah. Your stealth make it easier to sneak up on foes. Oh, hello there, you. 
Ancient screw. A screw used in ancient machinery. It's made of an unknown material, and no matter how many times it's turned, turned, its threads never seem to show signs of any wear. Well, normally, not always, but normally, it's not the threads on a screw that will fail. It is the, like, head of the screw where, like, the actual turning happens at. Because that usually gets stripped out. That's where all the torque is happening at. We'll take a look over that way in a bit. I want to head up here. No, I'm not talking with you, Google. Stop it. Pray. Sure. The goddess statue smiles upon you. That's all that this seems to be. Okay. Not really seen anything over here. Let's head over this way. So I gotta turn off this fan. There we go. Mm -hmm. Ooh, another one over there. I won't head that way. I'm gonna try to follow, like, what the game's wanting me to do. Like, yes, there will be a little bit of strain, but... Ancient spring. Ancient screw. Ancient spring. I can see how that gets boring and annoying uh, pretty quickly. Okay, yeah, there, there's a little bit of frame drops in this area. Options. No, there is no option for that. Um, I think I can see the spire over there. That looks right. You didn't die. Can't carry any more melee weapons. So not only is there a damage system, there is a limit to how much you can carry. So if that's the case, I probably want to drop a bunch of these sticks. Drop, drop. I'll keep one. I'll keep one. Seared steak. Raw meat cooked over an open flame. Uh, cooking it has increased its flavor and the number of hearts it provides. Just took it right off the bone. Oh. I think what the game wanted me to do...
Yeah. That either would have distracted them or made them blow up. There's just a bird over there. Uh oh. Ah! Uh. Boko bowl. Bow. Boko bowl. Uh, a basic bokoblin bow made of wood. It's made of. Uh, made by taking any tree branch and just tying a string to the other end. So don't expect it a much in the way of combat effectiveness. Okay. So draw bow. Oh my goodness. Okay. Sure. Hmm. Boko shield. Raise your shield. Traveler's sword. Very common sword, often used by travelers to fend off small beasts. It's fairly durable, fairly durable, but a bit unreliable against monsters. Interesting. Uh, and I thought I saw, yeah, some more arrows. Okay, let's go ahead and head inside here. Place the Sheikah Slate in the pedestal. Alrighty. <laughs> huh? What? <laughs> Sheikah Tower activate. Please watch for falling rocks. Got some rumblies in the controller. Green Bokoblin? It pierces into the sky. <laughs> Wait, oh, oh, it's happening, like they're raising all across the landscape. It's not just this one. Welcome to the Super Smash Brothers Stadium. <laughs> Great Plateau Tower. Distilling local information. Literally distilling it. <laughs> so it provides map information for the region. Interesting. That that's kind of a cool mechanic. Like, um, so the the equivalent would be like um like a, a radio tower or like um I don't know. There, there's different mechanics similar to this in other games. Uh, not a lot of them, but some where it's just like, okay, here's this tower. It's like this waypoint that's like scanning the area, and then you can collect the data from that for populating your map. Um, like, yes, you could. It seems here in Breath of the Wild, you don't uncover the map just by walking around, but 
uh in other games you uncover the map like where you walk or like the general region around where you walk and then you go to those radio towers and that unlocks the full region and now that that might be near like the end of the chapter or or things like that but yeah it's it's an interesting nice mechanic i'd say Remember. Try to remember. You have been asleep for the past 100 years. The beast. When the oh. beast regains its true power, this world will face its end. Ooh. It's kind of spooky. Like legit give me gave me chills. Now, then, you must hurry, Link. Before mm. it's too late. Before it's too late. Follow the Sheikah slate. Complete. Okay. Memories. <laughs> hmm. Okay, it seems that there's one way down, which is just right here. Um, ah! <laughs> well, this is not a deathless run anymore. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, uh, when was the last save? Please auto save at the top of the tower. Yeah, okay, good. I didn't mean to just jump off and die. Oh. Oh. Hello there, dude. My, my. It would seem we have quite the enigma here. This tower and others just like it have erupted across the land, one after another. It is almost as though a long dormant power has awoken quite suddenly. If you don't mind me asking, did anything odd occur while you were atop that tower i heard a voice well now a voice you say and did you happen to recognize this mysterious voice seems i have some work to do as far as earning your tr what no no that's not what i meant by that i assume you caught sight of that atrocious uh, atrocity enshrouding the castle. That is Calamity Ganon. 100 years ago, that vile entity brought the kingdom of Hyrule to ruin. It appeared suddenly and destroyed everything in its path. So many innocent lives were lost in its wake. For a century, the very symbol of our kingdom, Hyrule Castle, has managed to contain that evil, but just barely. There it festers, building its strength for the moment it will unleash its blight upon the land once again. It, appear, it would appear that moment is fast approaching. I must ask you, courageous one. Do you intend to make your way to the castle? I do. I had a feeling you'd say that. You would say that. Here, on this isolated plateau, we are surrounded on all sides by steep cliffs with no way down. That texture popped in. <laughs> hmm. 
Yeah, yeah, that was some pretty bad popping. I, I'm I'm watching the uh, replay right now. Uh, with no way down. If you were to try to jump off, well, no death could be more certain or more foolish. Of course, if you had a paraglider like mine, uh, that would be quite another story. Paraglider? Oh, piqued your interest, have I? Yes, I didn't come soaring down here on my own feathery wings, you know. <laughs> Worry not, I will happily agree to give you my paraglider, but not for nothing. Let's see now. How, how about I trade it for a bit of treasure that slumbers nearby? Sure. The Isolated Plateau. After you descend from the tower, the old man told you that the kingdom of Hyrule uh, was destroyed a hundred years ago by Calamity Ganon. You heard a voice coming from Hyrule Castle, but you cannot reach it unless you leave the plateau using the paraglider. The old man said he will give you the paraglider in exchange for the treasure that lies within a hidden location somewhere. <laughs> Come, let me show you something. Sure thing. Hello? Do you see that structure there? The one shining with strange light? Yes, I do. It began, uh, it began glowing at the exact moment those towers rose up from the ground. I would think such a place might house some sort of treasure, wouldn't you? Treasure for the paraglider. A fair exchange, I believe. Okay. Hmm... I'm going to take out these bokoblins. Oh, okay. How did you see me through the box? Oh, jeez. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Interesting. Acorn, often found uh, on the ground near trees. Squirrels adore this nut, so you may have competition while foraging. Add one to a meal for some nutty seasoning. Okay, it's left for shield. Good to know. Okay, I didn't even know I was fighting for a chest. <laughs> okay, so that looks like a proper cooking area. A traveler's sword, that's pretty nice. Uh, okay. That wasn't super intuitive, but we'll, we'll go with it. <laughs> okay. You can pass time by the fire. Um, uh, I guess I'll learn about cooking later. Like, I know that there's a thing for, like, a cooking menu, basically. Like, combining things together. But I guess that's a not yet thing for me. Ancient screw. You don't have to tell me it's an ancient screw every time. Just like the apples, you know? I picked up the apple once, and then it's like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You've had an apple before. Uh, hey, you. I want to search you. Maybe I cannot. Okay.
That winged statue is kind of interesting looking. Omen Owl Shrine. Chica Slate confirmed. Travel gate registered to map. So, is that a fast travel point? Access granted. Is the old man watching me? If he is, I can't see him. And down we go. To you who sets foot in this shrine, I am Amenau. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer a trial. Magnesis trial. Okay. I like that they sped that up a lot. It's like, oh yeah, we'll have like a nice grand reveal the first time and then yeah, we'll speed it up. <laughs> like that was twice the speed or something. Distilling rune. Ba 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 ba. <laughs> like that's the same tune. There we go. Uh, grab on to metallic objects using the magnetic energy that pours forth from the Magnesis rune. Objects held in the magnetic snare can be lifted up and moved freely. Hmm. Select rune from Sheikah Slate. Okay. Okay, and this is motion controlled as well. Oh. Interesting. There's a ladder there. Oh, I don't need to swim. <laughs> Push. <laughs> okay. It's just a little physics playground, basically. Uh. Camera, please. Uh oh. Please? There we go. <laughs> Ancient Spring.
I see that chest up there. But how? <laughs> Is it just like... Okay. Sit right there, please. Cool. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm having a really good time, if that wasn't clear. <laughs> You get back up there. The controls for this are like slightly clunky. Not awful, but. Okay. And then I'm gonna build myself a little ramp. I said I'm gonna build myself a little ramp. And I'll run up quickly. Ooh. Hmm. Looks like it doesn't let you walk up that way. Okay. you crispified you have proven to possess the resolve of a true hero I am Amon Rao uh, I, I'm Omen Rao uh, the creator of this trial I am a humble monk possessed with the sight of goddess Helia and dedicated to helping those uh, who wish to defeat Ganon. With your arrival, my duty is now fulfilled. In the name of goddess Helia, allow me to bestow this gift upon you. <clears throat> Please accept this spirit orb. A 
symbol of courage given to those who have overcome the challenges of a shrine. May the goddess smile upon you. And then just dissolves away. Is it taking me back up to the surface? Because of course it's taking me back up to the surface. It took me back up to the surface. I didn't want to be taken back up to the surface. It seems you managed to get your hands on a spear orb. Well done. How did you know? Clairvoyance! Oh, or perhaps just something similar. As one gets older, it can become more difficult to see what is right before one's own eyes. However, that which uh, was once hidden from view can often be crystal clear. But perhaps that is not true for everyone. Oh! Uh, the appearance of those towers and the awakening of this shrine... It is all connected to that Sheikah slate you carry on your hip there. A paraglider, please? No. <laughs> what do you mean? It has been quite some time since I have seen that Sheikah slate. Long ago, a highly advanced tribe known as the Sheikah inhabited these lands. The great power of their wisdom saved this kingdom time and time again. But their ancient technology disappeared long ago, or so it is said. It is interesting, however, to think... How something like that survived all this time, hidden away in a shrine. These shrines are tucked away in numerous places all across this land. On this plateau alone, I believe there are still three more. Bring me the treasure from each of those shrines, and I will give you my paraglider. So I need more now? I said treasure, but I never said there would only be one treasure. Whether it's one treasure or four, what's the difference for a young go-getter, excuse me, like yourself? Since I'm feeling generous, I will also teach you a trick for finding shrines. It's always best to uh, survey the area by looking around from a high point. Let's see here. How about you make your way to the top of that tower again? You got it. I admire your eagerness, but allow me to teach you something else before you go. Take a look at the map on your Sheikah slate. See those blue icons? You should recognize the cave where you woke, the shrine you came from, and the tower. You can travel instantly to any of those places with the Sheikah Slate. Or so I heard quite some time ago. I do not know if it actually works as such. Okay, well, I'm going back down into here. <laughs> because I wasn't done. <laughs> Press ZL again to switch focus. Same mechanic from Ocarina of Time. Got it. For it being fast, it still feels kind of slow, you know? The the fast tam camera turn. Okay. Please. Oh. How do I get that? Oh, 
Oh, that's a metal chest. So it's the Traveler's Bow. Um, I say we drop one of these and get the Traveler's Bow because that's better. Okay. Okay, so jump to go up those faster. Okay. Now that I'm over here... Oh! Um, hello. Bokoblin Fang. Tooth obtained from a Bokoblin. It's worn down and not very sharp, but it's still pretty hard. Cook it alongside a critter to make an elixir. Can't carry more melee weapons. Uh, that is not what I meant to do. I did not mean to stamp that either. Uh, delete. Stamp. And back out. And then inventory. And then I, I'm, I'll get used to this eventually. I swear. Um, let's get rid of the stick. Let's get rid of the stick. Hmm. I might need to, like, on my PC, switch the ABXY buttons because it's just not mapping in my head, right? <laughs> it says to press A and I go and press B. Oh, um, hi there. Keese wing. Wing of a keese. It's covered with a uh, very short, sharp fur. It's not much use by itself, but you can mix it with critters to make something useful. Keese eyeball. A rare material dropped by defeating keese. It's fun to look at, but it doesn't seem to have much use at first glance, but it must be good for something. Interesting. Okay. Well, we're gonna head over here and travel to there. No, there's another wing! <laughs> uh, unfortunate. <laughs> Hello, old man. Yes. Surprised it took you so long to catch up with an old man like me. Did you fly here? So you think an old man like me needs to fly to stay ahead of you? Still have a few tricks left in me. Now then, 
I wanted you to join me up here so you could use this as a vantage point to search for shrines. Did you know the scope on your Sheikah Slate? Yep, I found it by accident. Look through it and you can stick a pin anywhere you'd like to mark on the map. Press, place a pin. The pins on your map search as a reference point for travels. Just stick a pin anywhere you're interested in. How do you know? Oh, ho, ho. just a few tricks I've picked up after many, many years in the wild. You may take my advice or leave it. Go ahead and take a look if you feel inclined to do so. Okay. Uh, yes, so... There's one. There's another. Um, one, two, that one. Oh, there's the last one. Um, nope. Okay, so I think we'll hop down and then uh, let's look at the map. So Mount Hylia, interesting. Um, so it's probably going to be one, two, three is the route that we take. Nope. Okay. It would be really nice to just have the paraglider. So if I get it there. Okay, we get the fast recharge still. So just don't let it run all the way down. Oh. Hey. Can't carry any more of those. So we'll take this, drop. And grab the traveler's bow. Oh, I didn't grab the arms before. Severed from his body. It's kind of gross to strap it to your back, but it'll do in a pinch. Old and fragile, so it's quick to break. Ooh. Three, five. And yeah, maybe we pick up another club. Oh, hello, Keys. Hear somebody or something go woohoo. I don't know if these uh, ancient screws are going to be helpful or not, but I'm going for them. lock on and then you can sprint away from it <laughs> good to know good to know so if we're keeping track that is uh two deaths 
Um, maybe I'll add a death counter. Yeah. Um, here, let me give that as a to-do for myself. Um, Breath of the Wild death counter for OBS. I know it's possible to do with like a text file basically, but um yeah, I'll I'll uh, in like a plugin for OBS, but I'll I'll need to figure out how to do that. I know the common strategy is to parry with the shield. Oh, jeez. Uh-oh. Ah! No! 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 What? I was behind the wall! What do you mean? Three. We're at three deaths. Okay, so... <sighs> yes? Who said you? Just steer clear of that for right now. <laughs> Job by shrine. shinies? No. Okay. Let me in. Thank you. To you who sets foot in this shrine, I am Jabaj. Uh, in the name of the goddess Hilia, I offer this trial. Bomb trial. Okay. So you get most of the runes up here? That's interesting. So there's six runes, and it seems like we're going to get four of the runes. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, so two things. Bomb that can be detonated remotely. 
Uh, the force of the blast can be used to damage monsters or destroy objects. They are both round. There are both round and cube bombs, so use whichever best fits the situation. So round lets it roll, whereas square it won't roll. Press and hold switch. Okay. Okay, and then detonate. Well, I have to know what's over there. Traveler's Claymore. Uh... Let's drop this. Or no. Let's drop this. And then get this. Two-handed sword often wielded by aspiring adventurers. Its immense weight can knock enemies' shields right out of their hands. Okay. Uh, you know what? I want to use one of the swords instead of the axe. Ooh, okay. So... Oh. Oh. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> yep, I did the puzzle. That that's that's definitely how the puzzle was meant to go. Amber, a fossilized resin with a caramelesque sheen to it. It's been valued as a component in decorations and crafting since ancient times. Okay. So we'll throw that. We'll switch over to this just to detonate that. Okay, and then... Yeah, I'll go ahead and stand here. We. Uh-oh. Okay, nope, everything's fine. Not a thing to worry about at all. Hello, you. Your resourcefulness is overcome, uh, in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. In the name of Goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you the spirit orb. So what's good with this trial is it shows that there's like physics-based puzzles and it like implicitly like, oh, here's this thing bouncing back and forth, right? Um, so that kind of shows you, hey, you have this ball bomb thing. You should use that. <laughs> May the goddess smile upon you. Okay. Bye. <laughs> mm. 
Okay. Hmm. How many of these are dangerous? <laughs> Well, that one's dangerous. Uh oh. Bam, bam, bam. So, as a spoiler point, I know that they are beatable. I just don't know how to do it. <laughs> um, okay. Interesting way to climb, Link. Vine trellis. Coarser bee honey. Honey straight from the hive is chock full of nutrients. Cooking this into a meal unlocks the potential uh, of these nutrients and provides a stamina recovery effect. Well, good to know. But I think I need to run. Yep, those bees in the X shape are still after me. <laughs> okay. They aren't after me anymore. I'm going to head over to this. Okay, so there used to be a bridge here, but no longer. Hmm. A nice little log cabin. Would you look at that? Mushroom, hello. Near trees in the forest. The forest? This is a forest? Uh, chock full of natural energy. don't have enough space for that so mm, probably trade out this hello the old man's diary oh this is his house on this desolate plateau, the only uh, pleasure that brings me comfort is cooking. And today I outdid myself. Truly, I created the perfect dish. I call it spicy meat and seafood fry. This recipe not only restores health, but also keeps me warm even when traveling in the snowy mountains. With this dish at my side, I no longer have uh, have the need of that itchy warm uh, double. 
I do not know how I allowed this to happen, but it seems I forgot to write down a very important recipe. I know it contained raw meat and spicy pepper. However, I simply cannot remember what else I used. My age is coming, uh, catching up to me. Sadly, on this lonely plateau, I have only my own knowledge and memory to rely on. Still, if I did find someone who knew the missing ingredient, I would happily reward them with my warm double. However, it seems unlikely that such a miraculous wish will ever be fulfilled. Spicy pepper meat. And fish? Okay. Exploding with spice, cook with it uh, to create dishes that raise your body temperature and help you withstand the cold. Another spicy pepper. Um, let's... Let's take this, we'll drop that, and then pick up this one. A pot lid. Lid of a large soup pot, it smells vaguely of poultry broth. Yum. Uh, it can take quite a uh, beating before breaking. You can't carry any more shields. How preposterous. Also, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, torch, I'm good for now. Hmm. The old man. Raw bird drumstick. Tougher and chewier than a standard steak. Uh, tastes better cooked. Oh, fancy that, so we meet again. Thought this tree might make for some good firewood. However, getting a tree to fall exactly where you want is quite an art. The trick is to turn your hips so that they face where you want the tree to land. So, I see you found my axe. Why not help me out and give it a few swings? I'm working up quite a sweat here, but these bones could use a break. Um... So turn, okay, interesting. So, okay, so based upon the description, that's not exactly what I thought was gonna happen. Oh, this is teaching you to make a bridge. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Single swing of this uh, giant sturdy leaf can create a gust and wind strong enough to blow away light objects. These will sometimes fall off trees as they're chopped down. Okay. So probably, so there's a couple of utility melee things that I'll want to have. So honestly, probably just drop this and then grab the Korok leaf and then can't rearrange my inventory. Excuse me, because of course. Okay. 
Please, please, game. Oh, I think it's up on top of this cliff. Ooh, there's some mushrooms there. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and climb this. Mushroom. A mushroom that can grow almost anywhere, but prefers ceilings and sheer cliffs. Cook it before eating to temporarily increase movement speed. Oh, interesting. Looks my like my next point to stand at is over there or up here. Let's go this way. Please. Oh, no! I was like moments away. Uh four. Four deaths. Fancy that, so we meet again. However, there's two leaves this time. Uh, probably only need one, though. Um, that's not sketch at all. I have no idea what you're talking about. Interesting, okay. Uh, 
Um, I don't think I'll go for the restrooms this time. Wait, is the main way up the, like, mountain to climb like that? Okay. Okay. And then maybe... I mean, that looks further away than this, right? Oh, I, I need to get back down. Nope. I'm... Yeah, so dead. <sighs> Five. I don't think I'm supposed to go this way. I hate this. Hey, I have a bundle of firewood. body of mine isn't what it used to be. Recovering from a bout of hard work takes a while. If you're hungry, I have an empty pot you could use to cook yourself a meal. Got any tips? Simply open your inventory, grab hold of your ingredients, and toss them in. Try to consider how the ingredients will complement one another. You can even make a dish that increases your stamina. Oh. It's all about being creative and trying different things. Okay. Okay. Um Why is why, why is this under food? <laughs> um Let's hold this and this and this and this. Yeah. No, I pressed the wrong button. Uh. Um. Hold, hold. And then, uh, back. Cook. <laughs> Meat skewer. Huh. Okay. 
Okay, let's try this and this and this and this. And yeah, we'll we'll go with that. Energizing Mushroom Skewer. Uh, instantly refills some of your stamina wheel. Uh, this simple mushroom-packed skewer has its uh, colorful presentation to thank for its appeal. Cool. Um, what if I just try two of these? Okay, so any amount of mushrooms, and then it's based upon the type of mushroom, if it's, like, energy or health-based. Interesting. Nope. Hold. Let's see what five apples does. <laughs> Simmered fruit. The sweet dish is made by heaping tasty fruits into a pan and simmering until tender. Um. What about an acorn and an apple? Simmered fruit again. Okay. Can I do a single apple? That also gives simmered fruit, but of different quality. Interesting. Okay, one, one more test. If I do two apples, is that more or less than an apple plus a nut? Okay. Interesting. So that gives five. Hmm. If you're moved by any wild culinary inspirations, feel free to cook yourself a meal using my pot over there. I cooked something. Hmm. Let's take a look at what you cooked up there, shall we? Not bad. Certainly not good, but not bad either. Uh, in case you were wondering, I know you were poking around in my diary. Oops. That said, if you, you do end up figuring out how to create that dish I wrote about, my warm doublé is all yours. If it's raw meat you're after, try hunting in the Forest of Spirits. You'll find it in the northern part of the plateau. Okay. Stamella mushroom. Need to get closer. Okay.
Oh, ow. Oh, that makes sense. A chest? Nice. Seared steak. Throwing spear. I don't know if I want that. Okay, what's in here? Bomb arrows. Bundle of five bomb arrows. The explosive powder packed into the tips of these arrows ignites on impact, dealing big damage to anything caught in the blast. Draw bow, press left, switch. Okay, well, I need to run from the bees. Not the bees. Will you go across the fire? I think I just need to go. Unless. I want to see about breaking this. Nope. Okay. Time to go. Oh, hey. Okay. Please let go. Thank you. Fireflies. Those are cool. Okay. So... Drop this and replace it with that. Sturdy shield, loved by many, an adventurer. It is made of animal hide and sturdy wood and is best suited to defending against weak monsters or animals. <clears throat> I want to take a look up here. Nothing as far as I can see. Yeah. I really wish I didn't have this stiff jaw issue. It is really annoying. Temple of Time again. Okay, another Bokoblin camp. Uh-oh. Ow. 
Oh, my, my axe broke. Yeah, that's a little bit of an issue. Um, Let's go with the claymore. Ah! Um... Okay. Ooh, spicy peppers. Some more spicy peppers. Nice. Ooh. Find warmth soon or you'll take damage. Okay. Okay. So let's, let's have a baked apple. Okay. And then I should pick this up. I should cook real quick. Um, let's just use five spicy peppers. Spicy sauteed peppers. Low-level cold resistance. Spiciness of these sautéed peppers has uh, been broken by the heat for a sweeter taste. Um, and then what about one of these and one of those? And cook. Spicy fruit and mushroom mix. Okay, so that's only three minutes. Uh, never mind. Let's do an apple and a pepper. Okay, so that's the same amount of time. What if I do something like that? Does that increase the time or just increase the heart? It does increase the time a little bit, but it's mostly the heart. Okay. Um, so. Let, let's actually look at like single pepper at a time, right? So. One pepper. Hold. Cook. Two minutes, 30 seconds. So... Let's see. Four of them would be 10 minutes. So it is slightly, not, not by time, but it is slightly less efficient to use five peppers. Okay. Interesting to know. Uh, I need to light this. Uh, and 
Also, I should eat that when I get closer, I think. I hope eventually there's like a fire starter. Okay, so we'll eat this. Probably don't want to swim right now. Ooh, I'm curious about pepper and acorns. Like, does that work well? Red choo-choo jelly. Jiggly substance that normally comes from a fire choo-choo. It constantly gives off heat. If struck, it will explode in a ball of flame. Okay. Well, that looks like a white choo-choo and not a fire choo-choo. Jiggly substance that came from ice choo-choo. It's cool to the touch, and squeezing it seems to relieve stress. If struck, uh, it will explode in a cool cold mist. Ah, shoot. Frozen! <laughs> Frozen again. Okay. Uh-oh. Mm, yeah, and we'll eat this. Search. And you. Search. Ancient shaft. Machine part used in ancient machinery. Uh, it's incredibly sturdy, and it's not made of any recognizable material. It may come in handy someday. Ooh, hey there. Nope. Um, I meant to do this and then that um mm, I should probably do the Bokoblin camp at some point but not right now Is there clothing for better 
temperature resistances. I'm assuming so, but I'm also not certain. Snowball. Ah! Explosives. Yep. Not a good idea. Okay. Whoa. Okay. I lost a lot of health there. Um. Yeah. Let's just. Let's just have some simmered fruit real quick. Kenamut Shrine. In we go. Moving yourself if you have a Korok leaf. Interesting. To you who sets foot in this shrine, I am Kenamut. Uh, in the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. Cryonis trial. A new rune. Distilling rune. Cryonis. Build ice pillars that are very stable. These pillars can be used as stepping stones or as obstacles. Use Cryonis on an ice pillar to break it. Interesting. Okay. Okay, so you can do it directly underneath you. Cool. Up. Oh, um. Okay, yeah, it does have to be from the water, which is, you know, to be expected. Um. 
Let's do that. Traveler's Spear, inventory full. Okay. Hello there. Bloop. This effect's really cool. I really like this effect. Your resourcefulness is uh, in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. In the name of Goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you this spirit orb. Thank you for the spirit orb. Okay, and then when we exit, we can use the ice pillars to get to that chest outside. May the goddess smile upon you. Retweet. Okay. Um, I should get some spicy food. Eat. Okay. So. What's in here? Opal, a valued ore that gives off a mesmerizing iridescence similar to the inside of a seashell. It contains the power of water. The power of water. Okay, so it's three at a time you can have. <laughs> Okay. So now, um, River of the Dead. Interesting name. Um, looks like I head along this shoreline, and then there's a bridge here, and that's how I'll get over for that. Or maybe we just run up this mountain. Let's just run up the mountain. I'm sorry. Why'd those snowballs go rolling?
I know I don't have to go here, but I want to. Oh! Hey there, old man. Ah! I enjoy gazing out at the world from here. The <laughs> breathtaking view. This may be the best place to get a full view of the entire plateau. Use your scope to look for shrines. When you locate one, place a pin on your map as a marker. Or did you... Uh, you did well to make it this far without the proper clothing. Please take this warm doublet as a reward for your tenacity. Um... Warm pullover, typically worn by mountain folk. Uh, its sturdy fabric and thick gloves are great at retaining body heat. I assume you will want to try it on right away, yes? Though you might be eager to see how it looks. Uh, it's quite fetching. I thought you might be eager to see how it looks. It's quite fetching. Well, I suppose it matters not. It is yours now. Do take care to put it on before you get too cold, though. Okay, so that's where the cold resistance is at. Okay, good, good, good to know. Oh, ho, ho. have you found the remaining shrines? Oh, ho, fantastic. Just one more until you can have my paraglider. Amber, cool. Okay. So the last one... So one way is by, like, talking with him, but then the other way is with, um... Like, just eating spicy food and then climbing on up. So, that's kind of cool. Also, this outfit looks pretty good on Link. Hello. <laughs> I didn't even know he was up there. I had no idea of it. I was just like, yeah, this seems about right. I want to hit up this mountain. One thing I'll be happy for with VTubing is... People won't have to see me crack my jaw. They'll still hear it, but won't have to see it anymore. Come on. Excuse me. Ah. <laughs> so it looks like if it's really frigid out, I still want to have, um, like spicy food. But for general coldness, this is good.
Hmm. Nothing super interesting there. Let's just head up over this way. Get to the final shrine. It's there. Um... No! Oh my goodness. Okay. Can I stand over here? Nope. What dime shrine? Uh, I, mm, I want that hammer. Do I? I don't really. I, I don't need it. I kind of want it, but like I don't need it. But that's the best weapon in the game. I don't know. Like, it's fine. I survived. I didn't die. That's the important part to me. <laughs> it's just like that. Sets foot in the shrine. I'm Awadaim, uh, name of the goddess Hylia. I offer this trial. Okay, so this is the freeze shrine. Like, get things to stop moving. Distilling rune. Uh, stop the flow of time for an object. Stops an object in time while storing its kinetic energy. Uh, the stored energy will act upon the object when the flow of time resumes. Making good use of the stored energy can move even the largest of objects. Okay. Oh, the gear over here needs to be stopped. Okay. Okay, so stop it up at the top, basically. Okay, I was going to get the big hammer anyways. Um Let's drop the Boko spear. Uh was originally used for mining, but it looks reasonably well, works reasonably well as a weapon as well. I'm going to 
gonna go take a look at that chest. Traveler's shield. Uh, I do want to replace for that. Okay, so one critique I have already. When the inventory is full, I wish it just opened up the menu to let me select if I want to trade out the item or not. Because now it's like, okay, I need to drop this down and then I have to reopen the chest. Like, I, I, I could have just said, oh yeah. Um... Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> so you don't have to jump that often. So it's fine the way that it's like laid out by default. Your resourcefulness is in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. In the name of Goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you this spirit orb. Bum, ba, da, da, da. May the goddess smile upon you. Cool. So, that is all but one of the runes? Or is that all of the runes? I think it's all but one. There was like one spot empty, I think. Ho oh. ho! Hey, dude. With this, you have now acquired all of the spirit orbs from the shrines on this plateau. Oh, ho, extraordinary. That means it is finally time. Link, it is finally time for me to tell you everything, but first. Imagine an X on your map with the four shrines as the end points. Find the spot where those lines intersect. I shall wait for you there. Do you understand? Where two lines connecting the shrines would cross, there I will be waiting. Okay. So that, and that, it's the Temple of Time. Wow. <laughs> um. Honestly... Back to here is probably the fastest way. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I didn't even notice that spot on the ground. Did I climb out? I don't remember if I climbed out. <laughs> oh, hey there. Some mushrooms. Uh, tree branch, don't care. I, I don't know why you would ever take... Oh, okay. I should have snuck up on that bug. Oh, okay. Could have taken it, but somehow it didn't react fast enough. Is 
There are some eggs in that tree. Bird egg. Fresh bird egg necessary for making dishes such as omelets and crepes. Uh, you can stack them from bird's nests if you're sneaky, nutritious, delicious, and perfect for cooking. Okay. Literally just had a tree branch. Um. Oh. Choo choo jelly. Switch over to this. <laughs> Why do I have a song from the gorillas in my head right now? Yes, I see that's glowing over there, but I'm Link. I need to destroy all the pots I see. Nope. Okay. You who have conquered the shrines and claimed their spirit orbs, I offer you great power. Uh, it appears you have claimed four spirit orbs. In exchange for four spirit orbs, I will amplify your being. So tell me what it is you desire. Stamina. It has to be stamina. Uh, yes. Shall grant the power you seek. Because I'm not really taking damage so much. It's I'm falling to my death. Uh... <laughs> That, that's normally how I've been dying. Uh, I was close one time, but I want to be able to climb more. <laughs> stamina Vessel. The size of your stamina wheel has been increased, allowing you to perform more actions before getting tired. Hey, look at that. Go and bring peace to Hyrule. Oh! Ho! The blessing of the goddess has made you that much more resilient, I see. Here I am. Get up here. Quickly. Uh, I think the best way to get up there would be from... Oh, there's a ladder. Okay. Hello there. Well done there, young one. Now then, it is time the time has come to show you who I truly am. I was King Rome uh Bosphorus Hyrule. I was the last leader of Hyrule. A kingdom which no longer exists. King Rome, 
Last King of Hyrule. The Great Calamity was merciless. It devastated everything in its path. Lo, a century ago. It was then that my life was taken away from me. And since that time, here I have remained in spirit form. I did not think it wise to overwhelm you while your memory was still fragile. So rather than that, I thought it best to assume a temporary form. Forgive me. I think you are now ready. Ready to hear what happened a hundred years ago. Uh, to know Calamity Ganon's true form, one must know the story of an age long past. The Demon King was born into this kingdom, but his transformation into malice created the horror you see now. Stories of Ganon were passed from generation to generation in the forms of legends and fairy tales. But there was also a prophecy. The signs of a resurrection of Calamity Ganon are clear, and the power to oppose it lies dormant beneath the ground. We decided to heed the prophecy and began excavating large areas of land. It wasn't long before we discovered several ancient relics made by the hands of our distant ancestors. Those relics, the Divine Beasts, were giant machines piloted by warriors. We also found the Guardians, an army of mechanical soldiers who fought autonomously. This coincided with ancient legends oft repeated throughout our land. We also learned of a princess with sacred power and her appointed knight chosen by the sword that seals the darkness. It was they who sealed Ganon away using the power of those ancient relics. 100 years ago, there was a princess set to inherit a sacred power and a skilled knight at her side. It was clear that we must follow our ancestors' path. We selected four skilled individuals from across Hyrule and tasked them with the duty of piloting the Divine Beasts. With the princess as their commander, we dubbed these uh, pilot champions, a name that would solidify something. I missed the rest of that. The princess, her appointed knight, and the rest of the champions were on the brink of sealing away Ganon. But nay. Ganon was cunning, and he responded with a plan beyond our imagining. Ooh, infected them. Interesting. He appeared from deep below Hyrule Castle, sealed control of the Guardians and the Divine Beasts, seized control of the Guardians and the Divine Beasts, and turned them against us. The champions lost their lives, those residing in the castle as well. Uh, the appointed knight, gravely wounded, collapsed while defending the princess. Gosh. And thus the kingdom of Hyrule was devastated, absolutely, by Calamity Ganon. However, the princess survived to face Ganon alone. Link, you are our final hope. The fate of Hyrule rests with you. That princess was my own daughter. My dear Zelda. And the courageous knight who protected her right up uh, protected her right up to the very end. That knight was none other than you, Link. You fought valiantly when your fate took an unfortunate turn. And then you were taken to the Shrine of Resurrection. Here now uh here you now stand revitalized a hundred years later. 
The words of guidance you have been hearing since your awakening are from Princess Zelda herself. Even now, uh, as she works to restrain Ganon from within Hyrule Castle, she calls out for your help. However, my daughter's power will soon be exhausted. Once that happens, Ganon will freely regenerate himself and nothing will stop him from consuming our land. Considering that I could not save my own kingdom, I have no right to ask this of you, Link. But I am powerless here. You must save her, my daughter, and do whatever it takes to annihilate Ganon. Somehow, Ganon has maintained control over all four divine beasts, as well as those guardians swarming around Hyrule Castle. I believe it would be quite reckless for you to head directly to the castle at this point, but speedrunners do. <laughs> I suggest that you make your way east, out one of the villages in the wilderness, out to one of the villages in the wilderness. Follow the road out to a Kakariku village. There you will find the elder, Impa. She will tell you more about the path that lies ahead. Consult the map on your Sheikah slate for the precise location of Kakariko village. Make your way past the twin summits of the Dueling Peaks. From there, follow the road as it proceeds north. Go on. Here's the paraglider, just as I promised. An item that you received from the king on the Great Plateau. It allows you to sail through the sky. Press X while you're in the air to use it. With that, you should be able to safely fly off the cliffs surrounding this area. And I think that's it. I told you everything I can. Link, you must save Hyrule. Main quest, destroy Ganon. <laughs> Main quest, sink out Impa. Soldier's bow. Okay. And with that, I think it's time that we get going. That looks interesting there. Hello there. Okay, yep, kind of expected that to happen, but only one damage. Um, 
Okay. And then we switch over to this. Ding, ding. <laughs> this spiked boku club maximize damage sharpen bones jabbed into it to make a brutal weapon um we will drop this to pick up that fire arrow cool please just Okay. <laughs> okay. We're about to go sail away. They said we need to go through the Twin Peaks. Hyrule Kingdom. So that's... Oh my goodness! Was certainly something. Let's keep heading this way. All the way over here, really. Okay. Nice little road here. Wait, bird? Shit. <laughs> Fox. Some choo choos. Um, okay, so nothing I really need to worry about here. Um, yeah, so we'll drop this rusty claymore.
Okay, I see the UI element now for how to switch buttons and stuff, or how to... Ooh. Oh, gosh. Should I go do that? later or I could also put change to stamp um I'll put a star for these yeah excuse me so that's in that next area. Hello, you. Oh, it's raining. Okay, so that makes things slick. Uh, Proxim Bridge, Dueling Peak Stable. Okay, that time I died from hearts. <laughs> when was the last save? Hopefully not too far away. Okay. Side quest Xenoblade Chronicles 2. I'm sorry, what?
Collaboration with Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Southern Sky from the middle of the largest bridge. Eastern Sky from the skull's left eye. Southeastern Sky from the peak of the tall, pierced, snowy mountains. Find the red shooting stars. Okay. Weird. Ooh, what are these? Mighty thistle. Medicinal plant is known for its sharp thorns and for the fruit it bears. The fruit contains a com compound that increases attack power when cooked into a dish. was a bit rough <laughs> oh hey there Lucky that the save point was right there. <laughs> um, okay. I want to try... Uh... Hold? And... Probably wasn't what he was talking about. Also, we're going to drop this and pick up this one. Soldier's shield. Probably drop that. Okay. Are you made of metal? You are. I just stumbled into that one.
Uh oh. No! Yeah. No, stop crouching. No! <laughs> okay. Excellent. Excuse me. Whoa, okay. Yikes. Okay, let's drop my sword. <sighs> Bokoblin gut, a rare material obtained by defeating a Bokoblin. Uh, it convulses on its own every now and then, which is really creepy, but perhaps it has a use. Okay. Ooh, a chest. I was about to walk away and then I was like, wait. Croc leaf. Okay. Goodbye, chest. I'm sorry. Was that a lizard? <laughs> okay. It's said from the left eye, right? Assuming I won't get anything out of that. I'm sorry, can I just take fish right out of the water? Okay. 
Ah, yes, the perfect dolphin dive. I'm sorry? Okay. <sighs> mm. Yeah, that's perfect, actually. Oh, geez, we're after the three R mark. <laughs> I think I'm going to finish this, like collect this tower, and then that'll be it for today. I'm having a really great time, honestly. I'm looking forward to playing more. Okay, examine. Shika Tower activated. Get a nice little cutscene each time. Teleport pad and distilling scanning area. Regional map extracted. Okay, so yeah, we're we're decently far away. It'll be better to cross over the river and then take the path out uh, because there's like that whole mountain range in the way. But that's cool. Yeah. Chica Slate updated. Additional functionality detected. Ooh. Chica Sensor. Searching for shrines. The sensor reacts when you are close to shrines that you have not yet visited. Uh, if you head in the direction where the reaction is strongest, you should be able to find a shrine. Oh. Enable or disable the Sheikah sensor with Y on the map screen. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. The sensor indicator has been placed near the minimap. Search for shrines by moving in the direction with the strongest signal. Okay, well, uh, I'm going to leave it here. Uh, gonna figure out save. 
Yes. Okay. And with that, I'm going to thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the stream. Uh, if you did and you're not already subscribed, make sure to do so. Um, I stream uh, three to four times a week. And I uh, also do some Super Auto Pets content as dedicated videos. Um, I'm uh, doing like a weekly pack challenge as well as uh, doing some playing on the test server currently. Maybe we'll do something else once, um, you know, the test server like moves to live. But yeah. Uh, anyways, thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you all uh, tomorrow, hopefully, for some uh, Divinity Original Sin 2 with... Muted Fox, uh, Kanuda, and Azanki. Yeah. Okay, bye-bye.